Greetings everyone and welcome to Saudhamini's Kitchen where I share the kitchen recipes from my mom. I hope you like the bonus uh, recipe that we had shared the taklia bhaji. If you've missed the links are given in the description below. Today we are making one of my mom's top kept secret recipe the pom frit curry. Let's get started. For which we will need four pom frit medium size. We have cleaned it and we have marinated it. We will need onions, dhania or coriander. We will need a chilli and ginger, all finely chopped. We will need grated coconut. We will need some bedgi mirchi, a cooked onion and sun dried mango. If you do not have that, don't worry, replace it with tamarind. We will need some methi and mustard seeds with pepper and the backbone of the recipe, coriander seeds. Let's start preparing our fish by marinating it in haldi and salt. And let's keep this entire mixture well mixed for 30 minutes or so. You can use this recipe for any mild flavoured fish. It can be a halwa or a sea basa. Ensure whichever fish you are using is nice and fresh as it will make or break the recipe. Let's place the onion on the stove directly so that it cooks thoroughly. Peel it off and use it for the masala. You can pause the video here and take a note of all the ingredients. Let's get started with the masala. In the blender, we will add first the bedki mirchi. These are not that spicy, uh, but they give a good color. In goes sun dried mango slices. If you do not have them, replace it with a small piece of tamarind. A lemon size one will do. Uh, fenugreek seeds and mustard seeds follow with peppercorns. Uh, we will add now all the coriander seeds. In goes the onion. Just crush it with your hand so that it just blends well. To this we will add a little bit of haldi. A quarter teaspoon should work. And a little bit of water. Just quarter cup. Traditionally we used to use the stone grinder. This used to take a lot of time. But here we are not going to do that. We are just going to you know, pulse it out for 2 minutes in the mixer. You will see a little coarse mixture over here. To which we'll add all the coconut, the grated coconut that we had kept, we'll add all of it. This is around a big uh, size coconut that we are adding, it gives a complete nice flavor. Now all that you're going to do is add a little bit of water to this mixture and on high speed. We are using a 740 volts uh, mixer over here, you will be using it on high speed and turn it into a very fine fine paste. See you can see over here how to check it. All that you need to do is take the masala in between your two fingers and try to feel. You should not feel the grams of the masala or even for that matter the coconut. It has to be nice, creamy and smooth as a paste. It should be flowy enough uh, but it should be well well mixed. We will now transfer it into a clay pot. We are using a clay pot just to enhance the entire fish curry taste. You can use a normal uh, thick based vessel or utensil. We will now dilute it. Please do not waste the goodness which is there in the mixer. Just add a little bit of water, around 250 ml. Mix it once and then add it to this particular curry. The aim over here is to make a flowy curry. So add water as per your understanding. It should be of the consistency that you see over here. Mix the water thoroughly. We have used around 250 ml of water to achieve the curry consistency. Let's move ahead in cooking the curry. On the high flame, you keep the curry. See you have not added salt as of now. So please do add salt only and only for the curry because the fish already has the salt. So do not add too much of salt, add it only for curry and keep on swirling it and mixing it well. Do note we haven't added any oil or given any tadka to this curry. So the curry has to boil first, then will come the tadka. Okay, so you will see a foam or a froth around once the curry starts boiling. And here's the top secret. Take one chopped onion to it, add one teaspoon of coconut oil. Crush it nicely in your hand and release it in the curry. This enhances and takes the curry all together to a new level. And this is my mom's best kept secret. So please do try it. It will add a little bit of sweetness and you must try it. I can't describe how exactly 
does it taste but you must taste it now to this curry once it comes to boil add the green chilies the ginger and while the curry is boiling you need to enter the fishes they are marinated for more than 30 minutes now so they should cook very easily as pomfret is a very tender fish it takes not more than 3 to 4 minutes in the boiling curry and it should be ready occasionally keep on stirring the curry so the curry does not stick at the bottom always remember no dish is complete without a lot of chopped coriander so do mix it generously on the high flame for a minute and you are ready for this amazing pomfret curry the dish is well enjoyed with nice steamed rice green rice will do but do enjoy it try it and let us know how did you find this recipe if you like us making more such videos please subscribe to saudamini's channel until next time enjoy